guys, happy Friday. We decided to vlog this weekend. We don't have too much going on, but to be honest, we didn't know what else to film. <laughs> we, after getting back from Wisconsin, we had like a really relaxing, well, we did a lot of like our own work stuff mm -hmm. last weekend. This is the first weekend I feel like we, we don't really have plans. Well, we have a lot to do on clean coats. Our pet yeah. Shampoo. So we have to work on a lot of work stuff, but we want to like grab a sweet treat somewhere. Mm -hmm. Um, we might go to a sample sale tomorrow. Yeah. We didn't do our walks last week. Oh no, because it was so hot. So we have to do those this weekend. So we have stuff to do. He does not like to be held here. He just yeah, likes he to really sit in between it. us. It's so funny. Like we push our chairs together and he sits there. It's he so props to not funny. He's a flop puppy guy he's this boy cutest in the world um but we recently ordered the dead cool discovery set that they had on sephora we've had friends that have raved about dead cool and we well you kind of are like friend of a friend of yeah one of my friends i used to work with her and she um is good friends with the founder and she also like her first job in or her first like, internship in the beauty industry was working here oh was it mm -hmm. actually oh yeah um, but yeah, we've heard nothing but good things and we feel like they're our vibe, you know, um, everything's kind of like gender neutral and that is what <laughs> we love mm -hmm. in fragrances. As you guys know, if you've tried any of our dyad scents, um, so we got the discovery set. There are three fragrances. We know Taunt is like their main. Well, I think that milk one became really, I don't think it's in here. It though. is. Oh, it is? Yeah, I try, so I tried to smell them yesterday, oh. but I was wearing an, another new perfume and it was it really hard. So, oh, did you say they're on Sephora now? Yeah, we got this on Sephora. I missed that. Okay, so Taunt is number one. So we're, we have these little perfume strips. We're going to spray them on. Um, maybe we can just do one. We can switch off. So I'm going to spray Taunt. Okay, and I'll then... spray... I'll spray Oh, Blonde 3. This is one that Shelby had that we love. Oh, I'm pretty yeah. sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so this one I smelled yesterday and I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I see the hype. Maybe this wasn't the one she had. It's good, but this it's, is really good. It's almost like definitely musky. Well, let me see. Oh, that's my phone's up there. You have to oh, look. Yeah. Look on Sephora at the note. This is, yeah, I also, I think, I think that she, like the founder, like her, and I think her mom, I don't want to get this wrong, but like they actually formulate the fragrances themselves, like they're perfumers. Oh, wow. I maybe think. they did at the beginning and now they don't anymore. Yeah, that's true. Um, but regardless, I'm Because impressed. that's super impressive. So yeah. impressive. I mean, if you know anything about fragrance, it's so complex. So Taunt is warm and spicy, which we love. It says it, the keynotes are bergamot, vanilla, and amber. I definitely get the vanilla and the amber. Like it's spicy. But it does have some warmth to it, which is my type of scent. Mm, I really smell the bergamot. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. I like that it's this bergamot. warm and sheer because I think that's accurate. I like this one a lot. It's so good. I see why it's. I think yeah. they're number one seller. I really okay, don't are, love this one now that it's like dry. Well, what is it called? More, number. It's number two. That's not. No, it's number three. Oh, you went out of order. I put them in order, so you oh, can go in order. I didn't know you put them. I'll in do order. number two then. This one says black violet saffron and Jupiter berries, which yeah, I juniper. Not, oh yeah, juniper. Oh my gosh, I've been having some issues. Yeah, I don't. Fruit. This one's a little too green for me. I would say. Yeah, it's like and really deep actually. Like it, it the dry down is so deep and like floral. So not my favorite. Can you go to number three or two? Mm -hmm. This one's I, okay, but I definitely don't like it as much as number one. Mm -hmm. This one is sandalwood, juniper, and sheer woods. Yeah, I, I smell the woody notes, which I like, but it's like... Oh, yeah. It's not in it's your... It's real woody. Yeah. Actually, it's kind of fresh, too. Yeah, I like it, but still, number one, like, Me too. by far, I like the most. Like, would I purchase a full size yeah. of Taunt? I would. The other ones, so well, far... Not, yeah, we're not done yet. Yeah, the milk one I remember I think I liked yesterday, but again, yeah, it was kind I of hard. I how they market the milk one as like a layering, like you can mix it with any of the others. Okay, are you going to spray that one? I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to spray Madonna parentheses Lily. I'm not quite sure <laughs> what that name means. Oh, I will say, I don't know how big these vials are, but I feel like it's a pretty good mm. sample size. I need more because I know this is what they say this one's mm. layer, the milk one, because it's. This one reminds me of something. A layering scent. Maybe it's very Santal forward sandalwood. Can you look up if the Madonna Lily 
Mm -hmm. One, I feel like it kind of reminds me of the Mason and Louis Marie. Oh yeah, sandalwood, bergamot, black pepper. We love pepper. And this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, smell it. And pepper. I love pepper and scents. I really like that. Mm -hmm. We Yeah, we love pepper, like peppercorn and these pepper notes. This one's really good. That's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, this yeah. person says yes. on Sephora that the Madonna one is like if Santal 33 and Glossier you had a baby. And we, I mean, we have talked about, we love Glossier U. Okay, this one's really good. I still kind of think Taunt is my favorite. Yeah, I think so too. But this one's really good. So okay. Madonna Lily and Taunt so far are winners. Milk. Milk is amber, bergamot, and white musk. I mean, it smells really good. It's just so light on the paper. I think that they say that milk is like a skin scent, so you have to wear it. So I think I'm going to put this one on so I can Can I smell it on the paper? Get, yeah, a good idea. I can't smell it yet. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, actually, they actually, say it's light. if I'm not mistaken, this reminds me mm. of the Dylan fragrance that I like from um, that. Well, no, the oh. Rosie Jane. It's very subtle, but nothing wrong with that. No. Okay. And then last but not least is Red Dakota. Okay. This is citrusy for sure, right? What well, does it it's say? It's so yellow that leads me to believe that there's vanilla in it, but no. I'm getting citrus vibes. Yeah. No, no vanilla. Fresh citrus and fruits. Gardenia, so white floral, amber, and bergamot. They but really the, love bergamot. But the scent type says fresh citrus and fruits. Mm -hmm. I like it, but it's too floral for me. Amazing. I wish it was just citrus. Yeah, we love a good citrus scent. Yeah. Oh, wait, I, this highlighter, you guys, this rose ink cream it's, highlighter. I actually really love that. It's just so so strong yeah <laughs> which is so weird because the rest of i mean not really like we have some that are stronger yeah, than others um, I'm i dizzy. really like it but if there was a way to like tone it down yeah okay i milk will... smells really good on me now yeah so i think our favorite or at least my favorite i think is taunt i think taunt is my favorite followed as by well. madonna lily followed by milk mm -hmm. those three i would like purchase the other two i would not well, I think that $30 for this little set is a good deal because, like I said, I feel like the sample sizes are pretty good. Does it say? Oh, my gosh. We're dum-dums. It has all the notes on the back of this tin. <sighs> That's so smart, Deadpool. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> you guys, I don't know. With the craft and art of making fragrance. She went to business school in 2012. Oh, wow. She's younger than us. She did a lot. That's crazy. Well, good for her. I mean, yeah. well done. Well done to you. Yeah. What's her name, Karina? Yes. Her name is Wonderful Brand. She has a cool last name, Karina Chaz. Mm -hmm. Good name. And I mean, we can't even imagine what it feels like to be in Sephora, so mm -hmm. congrats yeah. all around. Yeah, we were really excited when we saw that mm -hmm. she was in Sephora because we have, like Britta said, we've been meaning to buy this stuff for yeah. years. <laughs> years. <laughs> we need to clean up our house and we need to go to Target and Trader Joe's. I know we usually can't film in there. We usually try to get like bits and pieces of our excursions. But Friday nights, the nights when we go to Target and Trader Joe's, we come home and we watch Murders in the Valley. We save it for Fridays, but I don't even know how we did that because I'm dying to watch this episode. Now we're so close to figuring out the murder. Oh, and just because we took some clips of it, I'm just gonna recap what happened before we sat down here. Um, we had in and out for lunch. So good. Tommy went and got us grilled cheese and french fries. And then it's my work anniversary today, which is crazy. Three years have come and gone so fast. And my bosses sent me flowers, which is really sweet. So I'll insert that clip too. But yeah, we have to get to cleaning. We have to get to Target. Anything you want to add? Um, no, I'm just happy it's Friday. So happy. I feel a little low energy, but that's yeah. That's okay. I also put on this highlighter. My whole face looks glowy. Though. Mine does too, but like the highlighter is special. I filmed a reel applying all these rose ink products, so you'll probably see that this week whenever we post this video. Is it good? Cookies and cream. It's good, but not as good as birthday cake or peppermint. Okay, that's good. I also tried the new passion, what is it? Pineapple passion, passion fruit, fruit refresher. So I'm trying to cut back on caffeine. It's really good. I got it made with lemonade. They give you the option. I just got the chocolate cream cold brew. Heavy on the cream. and 
Target and they had the banana pretty nice cream. So we wanted to do first impressions. We're so excited. The girl at the register said she would give it an eight. Eight out of 10. Okay. Oh, I actually thought you could see the chunks from the top. You can't, that's weird. Cheers, cheers. Mmm. She said it tasted like banana Laffy Taffy. And I would say that's accurate. It's definitely more artificial than I was expecting, but it's really good. Artificial, but so good. I give it a nine. I'd give it an eight because as I told the, the nice woman, girl, checking us out, the Briar's Banana Fudge Chunk was like my all time favorite ice cream. It no longer exists, but that just like tastes like actual bananas. So I just wish this was like a little less artificial. I but do think what they were trying to do here is mimic magnolia bread pudding. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, not bread pudding, magnolia banana pudding, which we eat often. It's so good. You know, um, that's a mix of real banana and artificial flavor. And I do get that vibe. The more I go into it, the more I like it. Maybe I'm eight. I think five. it's so good. I saw this girl on TikTok say it was so artificial for her. She had to make a ginger cookie crust in order to eat it. Like that's extreme drama. Mm hmm. It's really good, you guys. Get it if you see it. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I can't stop. We really have to make dinner. But I gotta make this permanent, though. Mm -hmm. I feel like people are gonna love it. We made it up the hill. Too anyway, we had a room. <laughs> but that means this is good for us. Yeah, it's, there's like one major hill when we first start. And then the whole walk is uphill. But it's kind of like gradual. Yeah. But it always feels good. And we decided to do it right away this morning so that we can get some work done when we get back. Okay. Yeah, it's getting sunny, but it's not too hot yet, which is I another. I show these mono spreads. Oh, yeah. But out there's poop. Um, I don't think we have these mono sling bags. Highly recommend. Mm -hmm. Vegan leather, so they're That's affordable. Fun. We just. Yeah. Wanted a leather sling bag. Mm-hmm. Yes. We will show you our walk. We will show you our coffee. I'm sure you've seen it on Instagram though. It's the same coffee we always get. Iced vanilla latte with oat milk. with you since our walk this morning we did get so much work done we were saying that we haven't had this productive of a day in a long time we always do like our own work on the weekends but we got so much done for clean coats our water is boiling like crazy so much done for clean coats it was super productive um so we've just been working for the past few hours it's seven o'clock we're gonna make dinner we're making our what is it called it's the fusilia la vodka yeah the John and Vinny Susili olive vodka that we love to make. I know if you watch our vlogs before, we've made this on the vlog, but it's so easy to prep and so easy to do. You literally need. Well, and the Fusili was back in stock. Oh yeah, at Trader. Yeah, we, we, we finally got a garlic press because we were so cheap that we waited until we found one at IKEA because it was like five dollars or it was something. So cheap, yeah. And it has. It's kind of weird, but people said it's easier to clean like this. But um, I'm using it for the first time. We got three bags of this because it is the best pasta. If you shop at Traders, look for this. It's so, so good. It's the Fusili Corti Bucati pasta imported from Italy. So we're using this and then it's so easy. We like always have everything on hand. It's just a can of tomato paste, two tablespoons of red pepper, like two tablespoons of vodka, um, a cup of heavy cream, so good two tablespoons of butter, Parmesan, um, and then the garlic and the shallot. So you basically put the garlic in the shallot and the olive oil. We love this olive oil. We've talked about that before. The California actual virgin. 
and then it's just so, it's just so easy we'll link the recipe down below but i'm going to boil the noodles and we'll show you the final product something to watch while we eat our pasta. I look so tired. Why? Me too. It's just hot in here too. Mm -hmm. or bake shop bake house i thought bake house. and it took us forever to get there there's some bicycle event going on so they bake. close like parts of sunset boulevard and hollywood boulevard yeah. which are main streets so whoa it took us forever so we were starving okay so we're gonna try everything some of these aren't first impressions because we've had two of the things before it's been a while though That's i want to try this donut first i know the donut the donuts for them are new they only started making the donuts i think like a couple weeks ago and they're squares which is our my favorite type of donut i love i feel like way too big of a bite that's a good sign that it's hard to cut mm. it's really good it's a good yeast donut mm -hmm. my favorite donuts are cake donuts but for like a standard fried donut i really like that the icing is kind of thin so it's not too mm -hmm. sweet and it has like a not like a burnt flavor, but like the dough. Oh, he gave us two cookies. Or did we get two cookies? Oh, no, we didn't. Did he just give them to us? Did he forget something else? No. No. I think he just gave us two. That's nice. That is so nice. Great. <laughs> he was a nice guy. Yeah, he was super nice. Okay. Then the coffee cake muffin. I might have to take it out of here, I think. Like, look at this. We, coffee cake? Yeah, if you didn't know this about us, which I'm is, sure you besides do. Besides cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. rolls like, yeah. the theme here is we love cinnamon sugar. Yeah, cinnamon rolls are like our favorite. Mm -hmm. But, but coffee have... cake's my favorite cake. Yeah. Oh, oh wow, it looks God. like so good. It tastes like cake. Yeah, I was gonna say, to me, it doesn't even have like a muffin consistency. It's mostly like cake consistency. Mm -hmm. Like a little bit more dense than what you would imagine, like a muffin. Oh, look at the cinnamon in there. Oh There's like time. cinnamon swirls on the inside. Again, the crumbled topping isn't too sweet. Mm -mm. Mm. It gets even better when you get to the inside. This chocolate cake, we already know we love. We mm -hmm. got it. Last year around Halloween, they put like Halloween sprinkles on it. Like literally look, look at the fudgy frosting. And it's gluten-free, which you know, it's impossible to find good gluten-free desserts. We're not gluten-free, but we've just tried some and they all taste bad. It tastes like the fudgiest brownie you've ever had. It tastes like a magic brownie, but mm -mm. like better, way better. For anyone that's gluten-free that actually wants something that doesn't taste crumbly and gross, yeah, go here and get this. Okay, and then we already know we love the oatmeal cream pie. It was our favorite thing we got last time. Like, look at how big this is, first of all. Like, it's so hearty. There's like a butterscotch shot on the inside. Okay. I guess you can kind of see it here. Mm-hmm. Look at the caramel on the inside. I think it's butterscotch. I think butterscotch oh, is it caramel. Butterscotch? 
But we love oatmeal cream pies, like little dubbies. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't, though, I guess? I it's know, so good. They're, like, one of the most popular. It's snack. not the most. Yeah, snack cakes. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Again, like, I think they found a really good balance of using sweeter icings. Like, the, the icing on the donut mm -hmm. was sweet, but not too much. The chocolate cake have, like, the perfect amount of sweetness. Even the center isn't, like, overly sweet. This is sweet. so good. Mm-hmm. The cookies themselves have so much, like, warm flavor. They're so, like, oaty. And they're not too soft, so they, like, hold their shape. Literally, our vlogs are just us walking and eating things on camera. I know. Why don't you guys suggest we do a muk, what is it, mukbang? Isn't that what we do in these vlogs? <laughs> I know. Oh, man. It's so good. My top two still are the... Well, should we try the cookies since yeah. he gave us two ones for Tommy? The but... oatmeal cream pie and the chocolate cake. But actually, I really love the donut. Mm. Chocolate chips or salted chocolate chip cookie. Really salted. It looks pretty. Oh, I dropped some on Luna. I'm having one more bite of chocolate cake before we put this away. Because like I, I can't. Yeah, then I'm checked out. Yeah. I'm going to have a sugar crash. Yeah. Oh, my. Well, now we are. What oh are you, what's your thoughts? What's your first impressions? They can't see your face. That's good. The chocolate well, cake. <laughs> Give us a little more. Give us a little more. I'd say it's pretty rich. Like it's chocolate texture cake. wise or flavor wise, like you think. I mean, it's, it's very like... moist. It's not like um, it's not a very, like the, it's not right? very, it's not, it's very light. Yeah. It's not a very firm cake. Yeah. It's a nice sponge. Not a soggy bottom. Well, it's like sure. not a sponge cake because there's no flour. Okay, I'm not. But do you mean do you, rich like you think it's too sweet? No, I think it's just I think it's just is it, I maybe think it's you just mean the frosting. dense. It's like dense. I don't know. Yeah, I that's mean. what I meant by texture. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't say it's too sweet. Well, what's your rating out of ten? It's so good. Eight point three. Okay, I would give it a nine. I give it a nine too. I love it, and I don't love chocolate desserts. Okay, let's go this. for the donut. Okay. Can I try the donut. Yeah, it's yeah. a little hard to cut. Yeah, but what, I think that's a good sign because it's a yeast donut, so it's supposed to be like kind of chewy. You like that more? Yeah. I, yeah, I love the flavor of the donut. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. I definitely like the cake more than the donut. I like the cake more too, but the donut surprised me because it has that like it has like a. Like it's not I guess I just, I, I don't love know how to describe it. It has like a, like a caramelized taste almost. Hmm. Hmm. Another one I can't quite put my finger on, but it is delicious. I should warn you guys, Tommy doesn't know flavors. He doesn't know how to describe things, but he describes them as good or not good. And you can trust me. Mm -hmm. You can trust me on that. But yeah. he loves the burger at Electric <clears throat> Elves. <laughs> so do I. I just get it with the impossible burger. It's good. I gave that one a good. For ten. Sure. He's yeah. Like ten. What yeah. else? What else? What else? Well, well we the cookie. The you wanted the cookie. Pie. Yeah, the cookie is yours. Chocolate chip. Yeah. There's lots this of salt on it. This piece is already broken off. Can I just take yeah. this one? Yeah. Okay. Lots of salt. Yeah. It, I, I dropped some on Luna. I thought you didn't like salt on desserts, but then you told me that you do. That's pretty good. I like the donut better still. I like salt with chocolate, you know, like a little bit of salt to counteract the sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah, so there's I'm not having, a lot of chocolate in that cookie. So like if I was to have a yeah. slice of this chocolate cake, I'd probably want some like tortilla chips on the side. No. <laughs> no, that's not happening. <laughs> You're not pairing this decadent, nice, expensive piece of chocolate cake with I think that'd be tortilla great. chips from Trader Joe's. <clears throat> yeah, the corn rounds. A little high-low situation. You gotta try the coffee cake because I really love Let's that Let's give it a too. shot. Let's get in there. Do you like, I don't think you like cinnamon like we do, but try it. I like cinnamon. You do, but. It's not even that. This actually isn't that Shout out cinnamon David Ferrier. It mm -hmm. isn't. I'm sure he doesn't expert. watch our vlogs. I'm sure expert. He might. He might. They do a really good job with that crumble top. Honestly, these people, they know a lot of different baking techniques. Yeah, that's true. They do. Yeah. Because that's like a typical, we were saying it's more like cake consistency than muffin. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it tastes like, like a cake. A little bit more dense like a cake. Like, I feel like they would kill it on Great American Bake Off. Also very good. 
Okay, but we need like your rating, like um, or, or your ranking, your have ranking. Another bite of the donut. Well, what's your ranking? Like which one? I think you like. Of? Yeah, you like the donut, the cake, the cookie, and what? What like what? Yeah, then the muffin. That sounds right. Donut, cake, cookie, muffin. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think you'd like the muffin as much. I'd probably give a handshake for the donut. You like the donut that much? I didn't. I'm, I'm okay, let me try it again. I think it's unique. I don't think that a lot of yeast donuts have that sort of like texture. Because it kind of tastes like bread. That's just not my favorite, but it's really good. My favorite right. donuts are still well, sidecar. I gotta try this last one then. Say the best for last. Favorite. Oh, really? But you gotta cut into it probably. Yeah, I just don't know. Yeah. I had to get it away from the and wall. And don't do that huge bite. It's pretty rich with yeah. all the filling. So. Oh, sorry, Lynn. This is... And it's like, what's going on? This box. Why can't I have some treats? Because it has like kind of like a burnt taste, but I like it. Again, with the unique flavors. <laughs> what are you? Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Okay. It's just nice to go to a bakery and get a box of I sweets. need your first impressions. There's something in there that you don't like. Isn't my favorite. It's the caramel. It's caramel. I know you don't like, you don't like, like it. it. <laughs> It has like a bit of a a burnt a burnt taste, but, but like in a in a good way to us. in an intentional way. <laughs> it's in an intentional way. Yeah. I was gonna say butterscotch. That's wrong. Yeah. No. I no. Think I said she thinks I it's think butterscotch. It's, I think it's like a burnt butterscotch. Yeah. Yeah. I still think it's caramel, but I knew you wouldn't like it. It's like no. too too bitter for you. So you still like the donut the most? Yeah. Donut, cake, cookie, muffin. Oatmeal. You're putting the oatmeal on the very it's bottom. Our That's our time. favorite. You guys just said you didn't really like the caramel. No, no, we, we like, like it. it. Oh. We didn't think you, you didn't would think... like it. I see. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I wouldn't eat the sauce by itself, but in the cookie sandwich. Yeah, like, I love it with the frosting and the cookies. It's a sauce. nice surprise in the center. Mm -hmm. And like we are overall. Um, <clears> how would you say nice. Gemini Bake Shop compares to other bakeries we tried? It's right up there. I'd say it's yep, right up there. <laughs> the irony is that my favorite baked goods of all time are still from Bolt, which is a coffee mm -hmm. house. It's not a bakery. Well, the Those cookies specifically, the cookies. The cookies and the muffins, though. Their I muffins remember, are so good. I really yeah. like the baked goods at Beachwood. Yeah, but they're yeah. not my favorite. No, I'd like this more. Yeah, me too. And um, yeah, I guess Bolt still has Bolt. my favorite cookies for sure. They're so good. But Gemini I like just what like, I needed to, but I yeah. Need, oh, and, and, like Bert and I talk about this. Yeah. yeah, but I still like both of them. Me too. Bert and I talk about this all the time, but go get them, Tiger. I know people go there for the food, but the pastries so good. are out of this world. The strawberry muffin, but the smoked bean burrito will change your life. <laughs> now we're just talking about food. But yeah. I still gotta try that. I know. Thanks, Thanks for letting me try these. Yeah, of so course. Good. Um, Car you can have the rest of this donut unless Carly wants yeah, it. Yeah. No, you can have it. All right. 